Hi there, it's Ivan here from carolineivanair.com and you recall in the last video I showed you how we made this simple banner but I did promise that we would have a look at how we might make a rotating banner such as this one here and you can see um, in, after two seconds it, it changes, the text changes, I'll just run that through again so if you watch here the text changes here. Now you may prefer uh, rather than have the text change just to have the the click now button to to flicker and flash just to draw attention to yourself uh, uh, to, to itself and that's what we'll try to do in this uh, video here so we'll start with the original image that we had and the instructions that I'm going to give you here apply no matter what changes you want to make to to a rotating image and you can have as many rotations as you like and by that I mean as many different types of slides as you like going through but I would suggest the simpler the better so what we're going to do here is we're going to simply keep all this area the same the, the image and, and the, uh, the wording here and we'll just have this click here button uh, flash to draw attention to itself so the way we do that is we right click over here and click duplicate slide. Now by doing that you'll see we have two slides identical. They, uh, You know which one you're working on because uh, certainly in, in 2010, the 2010 version of PowerPoint it sort of is highlighted yellow on the slide that you're working on. We'll go to slide number two and all we're going to do is simply change the colour in the background of this button here. So what we'll do is we'll go to shape fill and we'll pick something bright to uh, draw attention to itself. So we've got now one of these buttons that is yellow and one that is red. So we'll save the presentation as a presentation because that will allow us to edit it should we change our mind at uh, a later date and I'll just simply call this one, one example 2. Um, so that's save that. But now what we also want to do is save this slide as a dot .gif image much the same way as we did the uh, the initial slide. So we'll file save as and we'll call it example 2 but we'll then say select the gif and save that and it will again ask us if we want to apply that to the whole thing and we'll say no the current slide only. Now much as we did in the uh, last video what we now need to do is to resize the GIF image because of course this has been saved uh, in centimeters created in centimeters in PowerPoint and what we want is something that's 728 by 90 pixels in size so we head over to the file and here's our GIF image, banner example 2. We'll open with Microsoft Office and we'll redo the size as 728 by 90. Okay, that. And then file save as and I'll call that one resize as well and we'll close that down and it'll ask us if we want to save it and the answer is no that's asking us if we want to save the original so now you'll see we've, we've effectively got the raw material we've got banner example 1 resize and banner example 2 resize these are the things that we're going to use to make the actual rotating image and we do that in a piece of free software called GIMP now you'll find that you you can download that and I'll give you the address because believe me if you google the word GIMP you come up with some most surprising sites so you want to go to www.gimp.org forward slash downloads that's www.gimp.org forward slash downloads and you'll be able to download this free software from from there so
we'll open GIMP up and the first thing we want to do is create a new image. So file, new, and it will ask us what size canvas we want to work on. And of course we know that, it's 728. Unfortunately GIMP, we can select pixels on that, it's already on pixels. So we go 728 by 90 and then click on advanced options. And here we want to select transparency. And we'll get rid of the comment. I'm not sure. I've, I've always got rid of it. I don't think it actually appears anywhere. But we want. But do make sure that you go into the advanced options and check uh, and select transparency on the fill width. And then we'll click OK. So here you can see our new canvas has uh, been created. And when it's checkerboard like that, you know it's transparent. So what we now need to do is to open those images that uh, we created. So open. And we, if you recall, we created uh, banner example one resize and banner example two resize. So I'm just going to double click on that. And for some reason, on my computer at least, it always seems to place those uh, those images behind the screen that I'm working on. But uh, let me, if you'll bear with me a second, I'll just find that for you. There we are. So here's the image number one. And then what we want to do is edit, copy, go back to the main canvas and edit, paste as new layer. Now that's most important that you must paste it as a new layer. We'll then go and file, we'll open the other file, which is open. And that was resize two. And again, it's put that behind. So there we are. And again, we want to edit, copy, edit, paste as new layer. So we've got, if you look over here, it shows us what, what we have. We've got the background layer, we've got the first, uh, the first image and then the second image. So what we now need to do is select the background layer and click, can you see that trash can there? That just deletes that layer, just delete that layer. And then we go to File, Save, and we can call this, uh, I'll call this rotating training ad. And I shall select, save that in training images. And then it's most important, that, let me just slide this up for you so you can see where I'm going. It's most important that you go to select file type by extension and you must select .gif file, .gif image, otherwise it won't work. So, and then once that's done, click save, and then we'll get some more dialogue comes up. And what you must do at this stage is save as animation, and then click export. Now, this um, comes up with some more instructions, and we want it to loop forever. Uh, I've, I've never bothered with the GIF comments there. We want it to loop forever. And the time, the delay between frames, you can change that. But please bear, bear in mind that these are in milliseconds. So 100 milliseconds is a tenth of a second. So that's pretty fast. Now, I would suggest that we don't want that uh, flickering any, anywhere near that fast. So I would say half a second is plenty fast enough for, for that button to, uh, to oscillate. If you were, like in that first image that I showed you, rotating image, having text that changed, you want to make sure people have got time to read the text between each. So if, say, you wanted two seconds, you would have 2,000 milliseconds or 3,000 milliseconds for three seconds. I hope that makes sense. On this, you need to check, uh, choose Replace. And then we'll use that delay entered for above for all frames and use Disposal entered for all frames and then we'll click save. And now we should find 
that we have with luck oh, I had that in training images didn't I if you'll bear with me a second So now what we have is this rotating image here and what I'm going to do is open it with QuickTime just to show you the, the rotation. It will be jolly quick I'm sure. So if we click that you'll see it now I'm having to keep clicking it so that um, you can get the, the idea. But hopefully you can see that the button is changing colour and that of course would loop once you've placed it on a site um, continuously and hopefully draw attention to the click here button. Hope that helps and we'll see you in the next video.